AMD is releasing two new high-end desktop processors, the Ryzen Threadripper 3960X and the 3970X. They claim that these processors are the most powerful desktop processors ever created for creators. You might be thinking that's a load of bull, and I would usually tend to agree, but when you look at the specs of these CPUs, they are absolutely jaw-dropping. Specifically, the core count and the clock speed. So what makes these two specs so intriguing? Well, you first have to understand what a core is. A core is a processing unit in a CPU. The more cores your CPU has, the more instructions or calculations your CPU can execute at the same time. Let's use a common test called Cinebench as an example. In this first test, notice how quickly the image is being rendered. In the Task Manager window, you can see all the cores operating. Now let's take a look at Cinebench's single core test. Notice how much slower the image is rendering? Now take a look at the side-by-side. -side. Does this mean having a high core count make a CPU the best CPU? No, you have to consider the clock speed, which is how fast a single core can operate. For a long time, consumers had to pick between a high core count and slow clock speeds, or fast clock speeds and low core counts. But AMD has found a sweet medium with the third gen Threadrippers. They have a respectable base clock and a pretty good boost clock with a large amount of cores. Instead of showing you a bunch of benchmarks and demo projects, I wanted to use the Threadripper 3960X to see how it would handle some of our very real video editing projects we are currently working on at CNET. Our test build specifications include an NVMe drive, an RTX 2080 Ti graphics card, and a whopping 128 gigabytes of RAM, which was sent over by Corsair. I've decided to test three projects that have given some of our producers some serious headaches. First up, we have a 16 minute episode from an upcoming project. Each clip has been color graded with Lumetri Color and we're playing it back at full 4K resolution with scopes on. It's not bad. Our render time on this was 18 minutes and 35 seconds. And compared to our next most powerful machine in the office, the $10,000 iMac Pro. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. Only a few minutes more. The Intel Xeon W did hold its own. Next up, we have our foldable Razer phone video. Our playback was pretty smooth at full 4K resolution. However, it was not as smooth as the previous project, but it's still very tolerable. The render time on this was eight minutes and 50 seconds. And compared to the 2018 iMac Pro, yeah, the iMac did it in almost double the time. And finally, we have a full motion graphics animation created all in After Effects. I mean, just look at that RAM preview go. Let's listen to the VO track and see how it sounds. The bottom line though, you will need new phones, tablets, portable hotspots and the like with a 5G radio inside to connect to the new 5G networks. Not bad, it's pretty smooth. It only took an hour and nine minutes on the Ryzen Threadripper 3960X, and on the iMac Pro, it did it in a respectable hour and 25 minutes. The third gen Ryzen Threadripper is not cheap, starting at $1,400 for a 24 core model or $2,000 for the 32 core model. The entry point for this kind of system is at least $3,500. And that's because you can't just cheap out on the graphics card and memory. If you do, then you're missing the whole point of getting a Threadripper. But regardless of the price, it is totally worth the cost and trouble of setting one up. If you're in a field where time is money, then the third gen Threadripper is worth the cost. But if you're on a budget, then there are plenty of alternatives. AMD has said that they will continue to produce the previous generation Threadripper, which have begun dropping in price on Newegg and Amazon or you could even step down to a powerful gaming CPU. Like AMD's Ryzen 9 3950X, which has much fewer cores, but can boost up to 4.7 gigahertz. Plus the entry cost of the Ryzen line can be much lower than the Threadripper platform. So what do you think? Do you think the Threadripper is right for you? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.